Good day, my name is Jonas. I'm an overseas Filipino worker. I'm an advocate of Choose Life Project and welcome to Jonas Do Podcast for our series book of the day. And the next book featured in our podcast, it's called Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. This is one of the classics, uh, one of the classic books for financial education and uh, it was actually one of the most successful books ever written so think and grow rich by napoleon hill it's actually um, a project by napoleon hill who studied successful people for almost 20 years and he his goal is actually to understand and then to study the different strategies that the successful people the greatest people who ever lived in america so those who are successful people like thomas alva edison like henry ford he studied john d rockefeller he studied these successful people and shared it to the humanity so that we'll have a glimpse of the strategies on how to become successful so I just want to share to you two thoughts, two examples, or two stories from this book. The first one, it's called, um, the first uh, thought is called, uh, thoughts are things. Which means whatever we put in our mind, it can be, it can transform, we can transform it into a reality. As long as we focus ourselves, we focus our attentions to what we want, and there's a big possibility that uh, it will happen, it will become a reality. I have one good story. This story is about um, Edwin Barnes. Edwin, Edwin um, Barnes had the desire to become a business partner of Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison, we all know him. He is an inventor. He is actually he also he is also one of the richest men in America during their time. So Edwin Edwin Barnes was interested to do business with Thomas Alva Edison, but he had two problems. The first problem is he do not he doesn't know Mr. Edison, and the second problem is he doesn't have enough money however the only thing that he had is the burning desire to be an associate of thomas alva edison and then one time he traveled to orange city new jersey and visited the office of thomas edison and he applied uh, however he was accepted by thomas edison and only as a worker in one of the Edison's offices. So he worked there as a simple worker, not as a co colleague or a business partner of Edison. So, he, however, he still continued this desire. He nurtured everything, whatever desire that he has, specifically to be a business partner with Thomas Edison. And then one time, after a few years of working, one day Thomas Edison invented the Edison dictating machine. And then when Edison introduced it to his uh, engineers and to other workers, they declined. They said that the dictating machine cannot be sold. So there is no possible way that uh, it will earn, it, they, that they will profit from it. So here's Edward Barnes' biggest opportunity. Sometimes um, opportunity ca comes actually in disguise. So what happened is Ed, um, Edwin Barnes think thinks actually that this is his biggest break. So he went to Edison and said, I can sell this dictating machine. When no one believes with Thomas Alva Edison, Edwin Barnes believed in him. So Thomas Edison said, okay, you can sell this uh, dictating machine. It's maybe if you can do it, it's, it's just fine. It's okay. So Edwin Barnes now has the he he had that very nice feeling that today is the start of uh, his business partner also being associate with thomas edison and you know what he did with the dictating machine he sold actually thousands of dictating machines and he became very rich you know sometimes we we created so many options in our lives we we want so many things and sometimes our God or our attention will be divided because there are many things that you want. I want this, I want to start this, I want to start that. And the universe will be confused because the universe uh, will not know what e the things that you really like. Compared to the story of Edwin Barnes, there is one desire that he had and that is to become a business partner with Thomas Edison. Mr. Mr. Barnes succeeded because he set a, a definite goal. And in that goal, he placed everything, all his energy, 
all his effort and he only looked straight to that goal which is to become a business associate of Thomas Alva Edison he said it from this book it says success comes to those who are success conscious and and failures comes failure comes to those who are failure conscious if we focus on doing our success definitely we will have it but you'll focus our attention to our failures we will attract more of our failures you know mr barnes here uh he left himself a, a no possible opportunity chance for retreat there's no turning back either he had to win or he had to perish and at the end of the day he won you know what's his secret thoughts become things in his mind he want to become a business associate with thomas alve edison and what happened is he developed he achieved it he attained this because he nurtured it in his heart so whatever desire we have now if we want to develop a certain uh, um to, we want to create some business we want to pursue our education we want to create to build something as long as we attract it and we put it in our minds and we put all our energy there's a big possibility that we will achieve it another good story from this book is about it's called the title it's uh three feet gold the three feet gold is a story about a man named darby who was temporarily defeated by failure darby discovered one gold or a bar of gold and then he he bought some machinery he asked some people to help him to establish his business which is uh, mining to to dig lots of gold so he he bought some machinery and asked for some men and then they dig some gold and uh, sold it and actually made fortune out of it and then one time when they are digging already when they are checking for some gold it seems that the gold already disappeared so they think maybe it's already over it's already uh, finished the gold was no longer we're not was no longer here and we can no longer find any gold so what happened they did is the next thing that they do is actually quit they give up so they sold the, their machinery the people actually all his workers stopped and they sold the machinery to a junk man this junk man who bought the machinery called an engineer to do another calculations of the place of the mining venture the engineer did a calculation and he says they made a mistake the past group who did the who, who tried to dig this gold made a mistake actually the gold is only three feet apart from the place or from the point where darby and his team stopped so when the jackman checked after three feet of digging they found the gold so that's why this is always it's it's called the three feet of gold because darby gave up and you know that junk man he became very rich and made a lot of fortune because of that discovery and darby knew about this story they stopped and then because only three feet okay but they stopped so his greatest lessons here is uh about uh a temporary defeat should not allow you should not allow us to stop if we have goals and ambitions so mr darby actually he became also very rich by selling an insurance so he sold the millions of insurance in the united states of america and one of the lessons one of the factors why he sold so many insurance or thousands or millions of insurances because of his experience about the three feet of gold and he's, he told himself i will never allow defeat again to overtake me so whenever a client says no he will do everything just to push through just to go on and to sell more and he became a very successful man so these two stories are actually embedded there are thousands, hundreds of stories that you can find here in this book and there are this actually it will motivate you to do more to set goals and to create more things and one of the famous quotes in this book it's called whatever the mind can achieve can conceive and believe it can achieve whatever the mind can conceive and believe it can achieve i hope and i pray that whatever dreams you have in your heart and in your mind it will become a reality as long as you focus your attention you focus your energy into it so thank you so much for all your support i pray that you will all become successful that you will achieve whatever dreams in your heart that you will also do think and grow rich so i just don't want 
other people to achieve success but it's better it is uh, very um, it's amazing if we will all become successful and contribute to our to the humanity to our world today so just a realization are you sending different signals in the universe or are you sending one signal do you want many things are you are the dreams that you have is, are scattered if there is scattered you need to focus you need to see and to check the things that you want thank you so much and you have a great day